Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our Black Friday 2024 prediction series, uh, this time diving into what we can expect to see from the Home Depot's Black Friday sale here in 2024. It's one of the most popular places to shop over Thanksgiving weekend uh, when it comes to everything from power tools to home improvement supplies, uh, gardening and appliances. Uh, we've been keeping a close eye on their sales ever since 2016. Uh, and we often actually manage to secure a leaked ad in advance. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this year as well. Uh, and of course, that's always going to be posted right here on BlackerFriday.com the moment we get it. Uh, if you're not joined to our newsletter, you can do so right here at the top of our page. Uh, link will be in the description below. But as we wait on this year's ad, here's what we're predicting based on last year's trends. So uh, first, I want to go over some uh, timing uh, for you here. Um, you know, let's scroll down the page. Uh, here we go. Okay, so uh, a few things you can expect from a Home Depot. First, there's going to be a round of, er you know, quote unquote, early Black Friday uh, savings. Uh, this year, that's expected to start uh, in the first week of November. So uh, Thursday, November 7th, 2024. That's going to be three weeks before Thanksgiving. Uh, it should end on Wednesday, November 27th. That's the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, the main event often starts online on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, all stores are closed for Thanksgiving. Uh, and in stores, bright and early on Black Friday itself in the morning, November 29th, 2024. Stores usually open at 6 a.m., um, we usually don't recommend shopping some of these early Black Friday deals. Uh, almost, they're almost never better than what you'll see at the main event. So uh, if you're able to, you can hold off or you can buy something, uh, keep it in like new shape or not use it and return it just in case uh, you happen to find a different uh, uh, or better uh, sale during the main event. Um, the only thing we'll, we'll say, though, uh, the appliance deals that start early during the uh, Black Friday savings usually run through the entire event. So if you need to get a new washer and dryer, uh, a fridge, an oven, cooktop, or hood, then you should uh, be able to shop early and not, uh, not have to worry about finding a better deal later. Uh, and on top of that, if you need to buy a few appliances together, uh, then do it in a single transaction because they usually offer extra discounts if you purchase multiple qualifying units uh, together. So, um, so that's usually posted posted in the ad when when offers like that are available. Um, uh, free delivery also uh, uh, is usually offered on most appliances plus uh, special financing if you if you qualify. So. Um, what else? Uh -huh. So here, uh, just going back to appliances, uh, this is this is kind of what what you can expect to see last year. If you bought two appliances together, um, if you mixed and match, you would get an extra hundred bucks off. If it was from the same brand and uh, it was a qualifying purchase, quote unquote, it was two hundred uh, three. It was three hundred four five hundred or uh, six hundred and a thousand. So. Uh, these savings actually add up to a lot of money. So if you need to buy a few things together, uh, it's better kind of plan it together uh, and uh, you can you can really save it because there is financing often available, then, then you don't have to pay everything up uh, in cash right up front. Um, what else? Uh -huh. So in terms of the ad itself, it should be, um, it's usually actually around 20 to 30 pages long, although last year it was only 10 pages long, so it's pretty short. Um, uh, again, it featured uh, power tool bundles, appliances, Christmas decor, various uh, home improvement specials like faucets, garage door open openers, laminate flooring, and of course their live poinsettia deal. Um, so that's, that's this one right here. However, uh, as long as we remember, they were always 99 cents each. And last year was a dollar 98, so double the price. So it wasn't as good of a deal as we've seen, um, you know, just ever since we started tracking their Black Friday sales. But I guess we have inflation, everything's gotten more expensive and 
uh, still not not a bad price at under two bucks each. Um, and I think that's really uh, all that you need to know. Ah, just one more thing. Just remember that uh, most of these deals are uh, both available in stores and online. However, you'll notice that some items like this here, these are in-store only deals that you only get in stores. While you'll also see um, some pages here. Let's see, here's another in-store only deals. Uh, you'll see some that are online only as well. So just, just be aware of that, that, that you have certain things that you might not be able to pick up everywhere. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so that's about it here. Um, we'll be updating uh, Home Depot's Black Friday 2024 ad as soon as we get a copy. So make sure you check back here at blackerfriday.com for updates. Or again, simply just join our newsletter and we'll keep you informed. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you again soon, and happy bargain hunting this holiday season.